We're almost there, Stealth Army. The Caves and Cliffs update is dropping November 30th, and it's been a very long journey, man. It's been such a long journey. I remember seeing the Caves update on feedback like four years ago, almost four years ago. 2018 was when I started talking about the Cave update, and we're finally getting the actual Caves update, right? It has the Cave generation, the Mountain generation, the World Height Limit increase, some amazing features. And we're going to be reviewing them in today's video. So really hyped about part two. I know part one was pretty good. I know most of you guys were like, eh, it's okay. You know, we got some cool features. We got some cool mobs. But part two is the hype update. This is what we've been looking forward to. So hopefully you guys are equally as excited. If you can do me a huge favor and support the video with a like, it really does go a long way. And please consider subscribing as well. Only 40% of you watching the video are part of the Stealth Army. We got a ton of 1.18 as well as 1.19 content on the way. So you know the routine, you know the drill. Let's get straight into the video. We'll try and go in order here. We got a brand new music disc called Other Side by Lena Rain. And I think it's absolutely incredible. I actually like it a little bit more than Pig Step. But let me know down below in the comment section your favorite music disc. But Other Side is definitely up there. I'll have it playing in the background as well. Um, but then we got, of course, the caves. Which I feel like this is where a lot of people are going to be spending most of their time. Outside of the mountains, of course. We got a lot of cool caves. I think my favorite is the Lush Cave. So what we'll do is we'll go into spectator mode real quick and we'll uh, check out some of the brand new caves. Arguably the biggest part of the entire update, the overhaul of caves. And you guys can see right here that there's so many different tunnels, large caves, big caves. We got the Dripstone and the Lush Caves, just a labyrinth of tunnels. You can literally get lost for days down here. And that's basically why they've been spending so much time working on this part of the Caves and Cliffs update is because of the new cave generation. The two main caves being the Dripstone Cave and the Lush Cave, which we have one right here. I think the Lush Cave is personally my favorite one. Um, unfortunately, we don't have anything related to the Deep Dark or the Warden. That's not going to be until the Wild update next year, so we got to wait for that one at least. But we got a lot of different noise caves which are basically like the tunnel systems and these miniature caves connecting to larger caves. So we got the cheese cave, the spaghetti cave, and the noodle cave, which they all sound very delicious, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, the main caves being Lush and Dripstone. So we got a big Lush cave over here. I'm trying not to move too fast because my computer is telling me to slow down, but the Lush cave is easily the most beautiful cave out of the bunch, in my opinion. We got a lot of the new blocks from 1.17, like the moss block right there. We got the azalea tree. Um, we got the vines, a bunch of blocks in the lush cave. And I love how it just opens up all the way down to deep slate. So a lot of blocks related to deep slate as well that was released in 1.17. So overall, I just love the world generation. I love how the caves open up how there's different layers to the caves, and uh, it gets really dangerous down here. But of course, there's gonna be opportunities to get a ton of ore through mining the ore veins. So I think it's just a really fun way to mine now. I'm not a huge fan of strip mining. I've been saying that for countless years. So it's just really good to see different ways to mine and collect materials. We got ourselves the Dripstone Cave right here, and you will not catch me hanging out in this biome. Very dangerous and super creepy at the same time. I'm more than likely gonna die down here at least once, uh, but you got the stalactite, stalagmite, I think that's how you pronounce it, probably not. But it looks really beautiful in a really creepy, dangerous way. So the dripstone caves, I'm not sure how rare these biomes are, uh, but I'm definitely gonna be focusing on the lush caves because I just enjoy that more than the dripstone cave. We also got the amethyst geode right here, which isn't new but I think it just fits beautifully with the new cave generation and the cave biomes. You can see some of the vines. It's just really nice to see everything fit together now. We got the mine shaft, which can generate in the deep slate area. Actually, we got one right here. <laughs> we got a mine shaft all the way down in the deepest parts of the cave. In fact, how far down are we? 
And that just lets you know that you can find content and features all the way at the very bottom of the caves now. So really far down, um, very dangerous. Like I'm using night vision. So this would probably be like pitch black if I wasn't using night vision or didn't have torches or something. So I would not come down here unless I was fully prepared and definitely have like a totem of undying or something because if you die all the way down here, it's gonna take a long time to get back to your stuff. So good luck with that. So the second part is of course the mountains. Let me know which one you guys like more, the caves or the mountains. I'm not sure, honestly, I feel like I'm leaning more toward the caves, but the mountains are incredible. In fact, we can see a couple just from standing right here. So I believe we got six sub biomes. We got the meadow, the grove, the snowy slopes, the jagged peaks, the frozen peaks, and the stony peaks. So like I said, we can see a couple right here, nothing crazy. So we'll probably go look for a couple crazy mountains. They get really big. And of course, with the increased world height limit, like you're gonna find some massive looking mountains, which is probably a reason to get the Elytra wings if you don't have them already. I, I definitely encourage you guys to prioritize the Elytra wings once 1.18 comes out. One of the reasons why I love the new world generation is because everything feels like amplified now. Like everywhere you go, it just feels like Amplified, even though we're not playing in Amplified right now. Like, this is not Amplified. This is just your average 1.18 world generation, and it looks incredible. Like, seeing villages this high up, I don't think this is something I would have imagined happening even a year ago. And now this is going to be a very common type of uh, generation. Very common to see this type of thing now. So I can't wait to find some really awesome villages. As I mentioned earlier, mountains will come in all different shapes and sizes. Like this is a little baby mountain right here. This might be the frozen peaks. Let me see what this is. The snowy slopes. So that lets you know how tiny these mountains can get, which honestly, this isn't really tiny when you're standing down here. When you're high up in the sky, it looks tiny, but just look at this mountain. <laughs> it's massive. It would take me like 10 minutes to climb this mountain. And more than likely, I'd freeze to death on the way. So like these mountains just take up so much of the world now. And they're just beautiful. They're absolutely stunning to see. And of course, there's probably large caves underneath these mountains. And eventually, I imagine uh, the deep dark city will be beneath the mountains as well. And of course, that's due to the uh, increased world height limit. So I imagine people will start building up here, making some really crazy stuff. So I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. There's something very beautiful about how all the biomes flow together now, like they just blend together. I know that's something Mojang's been focusing on a lot lately. And it shows, like you can just tell how everything just sort of flows together in a really unique way. I know some of you guys have been telling me you're not a huge fan of how everything just seems to be hills and mountains and curves around like there's not enough flatlands but I feel like for too long we've just had pretty much flat biomes right just everything's been flat for such a long time so it's nice to see that there's some curvature to the biomes now ideally I think there should be a blend there should definitely be more flats instead of just mountains and hills and caves and formations so hopefully they'll find a balance in the future I imagine this is something they're going to continue to work on for, you know, forever, right? It's never gonna end working on the world generation. So a lot more to this update. I think another feature that's really awesome is how you can actually get the new caves in the old worlds now. So if you have an old seed, an old world, your main world, and you want the new caves, you can get those caves because Bedrock will officially convert to Deep Slate. So that's a major feature and something I'm sure a lot of people will take full advantage of. So thanks again, guys, for watching the video. Let me know down below in the comment section your favorite feature in 1.18. And uh, I'll catch you all in the next video. So take care. Peace. Ha <laughs> ha